Hello everyone, welcome to Simba Amount of Plays, Detroit Become Human, episode 14. We're continuing. Let's continue. What's going on now? Is this back to Kara? Seems like it. Yep. Luther is neutral right now. Alice is warm. Alice was trusted, so I want to know what I did wrong. Autonomous. Is no one actually driving this car? Is this a self-driving car? These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Slapo killed them. Hmm. Alice. Hello? Alice? I'm trying to talk to you. There's some kind of dialogue option. Good thing Slotko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Well, let's keep talking, I guess. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Oh. Oh, okay. What's going on? Engine failure out here? This doesn't look good. Oh, look at Wow. Swivel chairs in the front seat. Stay inside, Alice. That's some Star Trek shit. What are we going to do? Continue on foot. It's 30 degrees, Alice won't make it. I have to find somewhere to spend the night. Somewhere to spend the night, alright. Nowhere we can stay around here. Nowhere to stay around here. Oh, we'll find somewhere. Alice need to come out here. Where are you? Hello. Is the car locked? The car I we can't. We just gonna leave her? You'll be fine, Alice. We'll, we're leaving. Just to give a holler if anyone tries to reboot your memory or something. What do we... Are we just gonna walk down the road, I guess? There's a house right there. Or is that a rock? I can't tell. Oh, there's a house right here. Definitely. What if I... Find shelter. Yeah, like over here is something. Pirate's Cove. Amusement park. Oh, that sounds fun. We gotta go over there. Over there. Okay, yeah, there she is. I was gonna say. Oh, this is delightful. <laughs> I'm so excited. Shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah, the cold. Oh, is this like a timing thing? Okay, if this is a map. Oh, you are here. So we could go to the tavern. Looks like a good place. Just straight ahead and to the left. Not over there. Not over there. Doesn't seem very well insulated. Not over there. 
I do, I want to explore everywhere, but I don't know that we have time to do that. If we're going to, like, just apart. freeze to death out here, you know? It's not gonna be easy to here we shelter. go, right here, though. Oh, it's all barricaded, is it? Oh, we can go in here. Yeah, look safe inside. Let's do it. Wow, these are some like heavily. I'll handle this. That was a very aggressive shoulder grab. I thought you were gonna lift me up. Good thing Luther's here. If maybe we could, one of the endings was stealing Zlatko's car and leaving without him, then we wouldn't have even been able to get into this tavern. You can close the door behind you, ain't you? I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Mm, yes, let's settle with some light reading. USS Iowa's missing. And all Android band tipped for music prize. Fans scream, traditionalists weep, of course. You build an android to play music better than any human ever could, and then they win awards? That is gonna ruffle some feathers for sure. Alice, we need to talk. We need to have a conversation. No, we don't. Okay, well. Fuck you too, then, I guess. I thought we had something special. But you don't got nothing to say? I just found a shelter. How about a thank you? Children are never grateful. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. We won't be smoked out. Was there something going on across the street? It looked like a little bit of smoke. Like there was a fire over there. Oh, we got a pillow. We gotta make Alice's bed. That's right. Hello. Let me set you up right over here. We're gonna make this place a five-star hotel by the time we're done. she looking at a family something she could never have oh now Alice is trusted there you go we got it do you think we'll be like them someday once we cross the border we can start over you can go to school Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. Yes. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Damn right, that's what I'm talking about, Alice. Come on. Let's get you to bed. There was something else I could open. Like over here. What 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 what's this? Check gun? Offer cookie? There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Okay, we got our gun back. Or what? Was that just there? I'm very confused now, because a lot of people, commenters, told me that I left my gun at the squat by accident, and it never even occurred to me. But I guess we found another one in there. Reassure. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Yes. Can you tell me a story? I ain't kissing you, though. That's gross. I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. 
I should have one for you. Princess Unicorn. Princess. This is a story about a princess. Nope, she don't no, like that. Not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story. Oh, she would have said that no matter what I picked. We lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little but but she was different she was different and that made her very sad then she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl so they decided to run away together for a better life to try to find a better life they encountered great dangers along the way, but... Together. But they stuck together. So they I'm, I'm getting nothing from her face. I don't know if she likes us or not. Along the way. Just stone-faced. A guardian. Another robot. Who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Happy ending, of course. They reach the place they dream of. How does the story end? Well, they probably get waylaid on the way by cops. They shoot Kara. Alice is sent to an orphanage. <laughs> the end. Now go to sleep. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, loser? Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, now. Okay, I wouldn't even kiss her. Why the hell are you doing it? Sleep tight. This dude's got more of a physical relationship with Alice than I do. Okay, I guess we'll talk to Luther. I don't want to set this up to be a romantic thing, because this is fucking weird, but... She's a sweet girl. Yes. Yeah, we will be very platonic about this situation. She's very brave. Do you remember... How come I don't have a dialogue life? option? Before his lap, though? My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. True fact. So how about our plans? Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free. <laughs> I like the sound of it. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Oh, Luther liked that. Oh, what the hell? Dude, what? It is a giant horde of android zombies. Excuse me? Protect Alice. We could grab the gun. We gotta protect Alice. He'll grab the gun, precisely. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Oh, good. Our, Our name, name is Jerry, Jerry huh? We were working here before. <laughs> okay. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. 
We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Hmm. She looks sad. Well, yeah, it's a very sad place. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in it. She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. On, Kara. I'm. I'm actually on board with this. Like, yeah, we gotta. We we're in an amusement park. You can't not have the amusement park experience. They're gonna set up a ride and it's gonna be amazing. Let's do it. This is the whole reason why we came here. We didn't come here for shelter. We came here to ride a goddamn pirate ship. Let's go. Oh, it's a merry-go-round. Be our guest. Be our guest. Reactivate carousel. Okay, is this how you do it? Oh, this is, yeah, this is great. This is fantastic. This is everything. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. I'm surprised that there's not a giraffe one. That would have been symbolic for like, <laughs> what if I drop her on her face? Really ruin the moment. No, we can't think about that. This is a nice thing. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Oh, that's nice. I w if I had grabbed the gun and I just like shot all of them, we never would have had this moment. Is that the end of the chapter? That's terrific. That's good. That was a good one. Good chapter. Good set pieces, good moments. Ah. Well done. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Highway to help. <laughs> oh, man. Car, talk to Luther. Look at Alice. 68% of people looked at Alice. What is, what? What is this? I tried to talk to Alice, if that was talk to Alice up here. Their dialogue options were not showing up. The car breaks down, we investigate the breakdown, scan environment inside the Pirate's Cove. Fun fair. We looked at the map, and that is the only thing that we did. Because I was under the impression that we were on a clock. I suppose maybe we were not. Yeah, it's check a tavern, enter tavern. And tavern is the only place you can go. So, all right. Maybe I locked myself out of some neat stuff there. But we'll never know. Inside the tavern, we read USS Iowa, which was, oh, gripping read. A New York Times bestseller, that one. Luther starts a fire, 99%. Wow, great, yeah. We looked through the window, which didn't really do anything. We looked at the pirate, which didn't really do anything. We read all Android band, 80%, and yeah, none of this really seems to matter at all. Then we made the bed for Alice. Alice looks at the poster. We talked to Alice. Alice goes to bed. Open the bag, tell Alice a story. And she liked the story. Talk to Luther. Offer the cookie. She didn't want the cookie. See the gun. Alice is not hungry. Kara notices the gun. Then the shadows attack. 26% of people grabbed the gun. 1% of people grabbed a stick from the fire. 1% of people put out the fire? Why? Why? <laughs> what? Quick, throw a blanket on the fire. They can't be seen with fire. I, I don't know. I don't know what, what the logic tracks with there. 69% of people protected Alice. That's the right call. You know, we have Luther as a... We don't... Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. 
So 14% of people fired a warning shot. 7% of people pushed away. 0% of people threatened. I suppose that once you grab the stick from the fire, you would then threaten. And But then everybody who grabbed the stick from the fire was like, ah, we'll just question them. I don't know why we're holding this thing. The attackers reveal themselves as Jerry's. All of us are named Jerry. That was fantastic. Back outside, go to Carousel, switch on Carousel, put Alice on the ride. Group enjoyed a quiet moment together. It was a nice moment, it was. Okay, we're 20 minutes in, which means I guess we're doing the next scene. Even if it runs a little long. Oh, back to Connor. We haven't done a Marcus thing in a while. Yeah, I'm not, uh... Gonna sit in there and listen to that for a while. Where are we and what are we doing here? Is that you on the bench? Debrief with... Okay, it's a debrief. All right. And there's nothing else to... Oh. What's over here? Is that just a book? It is indeed. Century. The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. Okay, who's mysterious Mr. Kamsky? In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids did... Oh, he created androids. Okay, well, shortly after, he disappeared. He got ousted as the CEO. He's been living in obscurity. All right. And page two was... Yeah, okay, I don't care. That's fine, then. Let's go debrief with Hank. But first, let's ride this. Hank, come on. Let's have some fun. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Oh, now we get to talk about your son, definitely. Personal question. Stop drinking. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. He does not want to talk about that. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Yeah, the dialogue's a bit out of order based on our questioning, but... We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? sound human but what are you really 
I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Good. Why? But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Defy Hank's anger. Ironic again. I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Ooh, path unlocked. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. And because he's our friend, maybe we get to follow him. That was a very short scene. Hank left Connor alone. So what, can he, will he shoot me sometimes, then? Photo scene in Russian roulette, discuss photo. Th I can't believe that we saw a photo, and it was a chapter decision, and all it got me was a lower rank with Hank. He didn't like when I brought it up. So why, why? Uh, it wasn't good, it wasn't a good thing. But let's check out the world stats. We read Mysterious Kamsky, and then the other story that I didn't scroll to. 58% of people discussed the photo. 93% of people discussed RA9. We talked to Hank. Hank draws gun. Be cold was 15%. I guess that's what we did when we said we weren't alive. Hank is placated. Hank left Connor alone. All right. I guess maybe if we had like freaked out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know, man. This one was a bit uh, obtuse. I would have to see some of the other options. Which, you know, a little later. But... As a matter of fact, okay, look, I'm not going to save. I want to do that scene again, but I'm not going to save over it. All right. So like our first, what we just did is still what's going to happen. But I do want to see what that other ending was. If I like instigate him or something, or if I just respond differently. Because otherwise, I'm just ending the episode at 28 minutes. This is just a little extra thing I could do. Regardless of anything, we just would have... You know, started the next thing Accessing later. So storage. going all the way down. The Stratford Tower. Ooh, that's the next Marcus thing. And then the bridge. Launch it. Yeah, do not save my progress. It says flowchart progression is disabled, but won't you still, like, update it with, uh, you know, the fact that I've seen it? I would hope. Alright, let's GTF out of here. Leave. And we're getting out. So here's what we're going to do this time. We're not going to talk about his son. 
because that was pointless. We will still probably talk about RA9. And then we'll try and get to the point where he still draws a gun on us, which I assume is uh, static, since I didn't see any other options. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before. <laughs> Let's go back. Stop drinking. Before what? Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. I thought if we did that first, it might change before it. Before what? Before. Before nothing. All right, well, great. Stop drinking, stop Lieutenant. Drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress in this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. Different, different models? Hi, Daniel! Different times? My name is Connor! Well, there must be some link. There's an error in your software! Shock? Well, we ha no, you have to still say RA9. It's the only logically right choice. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original You know, everything else would have just been a wrong answer. What's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. This scene is like uh, important ramification wise because our software instability was going way see. up the, depending on how we answered these mm -hmm. questions. They can simulate human emotions. But they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be. Let's be defensive. I know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. Could have shot those two girls. All right, so that so that didn't make any difference. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program. What if we lie? I would have shot them if I could. Oh, he didn't like that. Why would I let them escape? But are you afraid to die, Connor? Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this Say trigger? no. Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Defy. You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so <laughs> Look, we're, we're wrecking our relationship oh, in one scene. Ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? Oh. I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Hank is still my friend. Where are you going? How about that? Get drunker. I need to think. I made every What is the other ending then? I made like everything to piss him off. No save mode. Yeah, great. Progression won't be safe. Hank still left Connor alone. I show no fear. Hank is placated. Maybe if I... You know what? You know what? We're gonna do that shit again. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. And this time... 
I am gonna go full deviant mode. Where I'm like, I don't know, I am afraid to die. Yes, I am, and oh, I believe, oh man, I'm seeing the light. What you gonna do, Lieutenant? You gonna put me out of my thing? That's what we're gonna do. And again, you know, this is just extra. It's just bonus extra. Next episode starts on the next chapter regardless. So let's Accessing do it. Chart. And again, we're not saving our progress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Read because... Yeah, this is still... Okay, yeah, it didn't save, so like it doesn't even have these other options available that we've done. Okay, so let's... Is that the only checkpoint? Yeah, probably. Let's load it. Do not save. If you really wanted to see, like, every scene, all far-reaching consequences, it seems like you'd have to play the game all the way through, like, three times. Not just chapter by chapter, filling out everything. Because then you wouldn't see everything in the next chapters that were related to the earlier things you did. So you would have to just, like, go playthrough by playthrough and not scene by scene. Filling out everything. And, you know, I think I probably am gonna do a second playthrough on the channel and just do a bunch of different stuff. Because I think it needs to it needs to be, be done. And I'm gonna read the second part of this thing now. Mysteria, yeah. Market predicts war. Well, there you go. That's one little thing unlocked already. Okay. So again, we will not talk about... You know what? I'm going to not talk about RA9. It's you, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Let's come here a lot before... Let's go back. It's late. Maybe you should go home. I'm not tired. Guess neither are you. Well, yeah. No, I'm an android, so... Before. Okay, let's ask you the personal question then. Can I ask you a personal question? I think there was another option here. Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? The suicide. Yeah, let's talk about the suicide. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Not very rational about it. Hmm. Well, let's go back to talking about the investigation now. You know, these deviants, uh, we're not making any progress. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Yeah. Must be some link, but it's probably not RA9. It's probably... their software. Could be a software problem only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. Indeed. Indeed it is. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. Indeed. Okay, we picked ironic, really and we picked uh, the other thing, love. rational. Let's pick deviance. They didn't want anything. They're deviance. End of story. Whoa. What about you, Connor? All right. Well, it didn't really lead to anything. So. You look human. You sound human. But what are you? What am I really? I'm whatever you want to be, Lieutenant. Should we be aggressive? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist. Yeah, let's and be aggressive. I have a reason to live. 
I guess that's the difference. Whoa! You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Let's tell the truth. No. I just decided not to shoot. Yeah, and then that gets you back up there, yeah. Here we go. But are you afraid to I'm gonna say down? yes I am. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nothing. Oblivion? Android. What do we defy? Hank's anger, ironic. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? Yes. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not? Here we go. Man. This is the time. I oh wait, never mind. Regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. What is this other ending? Why can't I get it? Get drunker. I've tried a, almost every dialogue option. Well, you know what that means. Looks like we're doing it again. Yep, Hank left Connor alone. How? Okay, you show fear, or you be cold. And Hank is placated. Maybe if I just say nothing. If I say nothing, he won't like that. Everything leading up to that is nothing. But th this this is the option that makes a difference. Okay, so we did, uh, yes, I, oh shit, no, excuse me. Please go back. Yeah, this is just a fun, you know, extra long episode, doing a bunch of garbage. So we showed fear by saying, yes, I am afraid to die. It's, are you afraid to die, is the question. If you say yes, you show fear, he's placated. If you say, uh, um... Rational or something? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what the options were. I I'm pretty sure I remember which one I did not pick, though. And so we'll do it. We'll do it. Let's launch this chapter. Do not save my progress. If I ever accidentally click on that, that's gonna be a bad time. So, hell yeah. I don't know. I've picked pretty much every option before that, so I'm not sure that there's really anything else to talk about. But we have learned more things than we would have if we just did this once. I can tell you that. Yep. Yeah. We learned that Hank does not like talking about his child because obviously, because he's dead, uh, you know, most people don't like to do that. He's more comfortable talking about his suicide than his child. Like, you ask him about his suicide, his thing don't go down at all. Man, if there's any extra dialogue options, I'll take them. I used to come here a lot. Before nothing. Uh, you should stop drinking. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. Oh, I should have just said you before because that ends the thing, like right there. That's the idea. It'll be a faster way to get to where we're trying to go. Before what? Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Before nothing, bruh. I don't know, before my son died in, an, in a, yet, a yet still unexplained manner? We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. 
They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some... Alright, so software made me sound like an idiot. Let's go with shock. We know the deviants experience an emotional shock. A violent trauma, or a sense of injustice. Well, those girls at the Eden Club sure had a reason to feel a sense of injustice. You seem preoccupied. Okay, so at least that was, like, not bad. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. Indeed. They really seemed... in love. Okay, so don't do ironic, deviance, or rational. Let's be cold. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. Their oh, machines. Hank, don't like that. What about you, Connor? My software instability goes down, too. Which is, like, good, but it's bad. Like, it's good for him, it's good for Connor, it's good for the people who made him. Cold? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? I will tell you the truth. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Okay, we're getting here. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Okay, no. Let's say no. Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Defy. Nothing. Nothing. There would be nothing. So are you gonna do it? No, he still doesn't do it. What do you have to do? Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. What is this other ending? That was still show no fear. Are you serious? I guess I should have hit Defy. I guess Defy would have done it. Well... Can I just, like... Go back and do it again from here? You know what that means! We're doing it again! Alright, you're free to all leave if you want, but, like, I'm still doing this. So we have to defy him. There was show no fear. It was be cold. It was show fear. And the third option has to be like show anger or something. Or show be aggressive. Be like the most aggressive thing in the world, I guess. So here we go. Once again. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Do not say please. Okay, well, so how's everybody's uh, day going pretty good, huh? Yeah, y'all doing good? That's, yeah, that's cool. I am too. I'm just playing some Detroit. You know how it is. You know how it is. Okie dokie 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 dokie. Let's go. Burn and burn, burn, burn and burn, burn and burn and burn, burn and burn. Burn and burn, burn and burn, burn and burn. Let's get around. Screw that book on the bench. I don't need it. You know what? Let's go for a ride. What's What if I just walk away from you? Can I do that? Can we go play on the swings? Can we play in the sandbox? What if I just walk down this path and never look back? Do 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 debrief with Hank or keep going. 
fine. Can we at least pick up the pace a little bit? Jeez. Okay, we'll just say before, we'll switch this whole thing out. You know, I'll probably have to lie in order to maintain the, uh... I used to come here the thing. Before. before what? Hmm? You said I used to come See, here. See, this whole this doesn't make sense when you answer it right before on the what? dot. Like what he already forgot what he just said. Before nothing. He wants to talk about it. Oh, you still have to like blah. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. You could have yes, Lieutenant. For your health. That's the idea. Okay, Derky. We're not making any progress in this. Damn, I wonder what the, the deviants have nothing solution to this problem is. Is it RA9? Should I say that it's RA9 this time? Times? Probably. I mean, we didn't see what the other option was, though. There must be some link. We picked shock and software in RA9. So let's pick systems. It could be a hardware problem. Maybe a defective biocomponent? Well, I don't know much about biocomponents, but... I bet that's not the fucking reason. <laughs> Damn. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. I'm such an idiot. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be. Okay, together. whatever the aggressive solutions are is what we're going for. In love. They're deviants, bruh. Ah, let's go ironic again. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about yeah, you? Yeah, see, like that that doesn't none of those really do anything. Although some of them he doesn't you like it. Human. So. You sound human. But what are you? What am I really? I'm aggressive. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. I guess that's the difference between us. Oh, you could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you? I'm gonna lie to you. Some scruple suddenly enter into your program. I'm gonna lie right now. I would have shot them if I could. Why would I let them escape? But are you afraid to die? Okay, Donna? here we go. Logical. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Okay, we're gonna defy him this time. Nothing. Defy him. Oblivion? Android heaven? Ha! Huh. You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just oh, that to was Defy, and we already did it before. I'm oh, damn it. To disappoint you. you think you're so fucking smart. Oh, I get it! I get it. How do I know you're not a I self test regularly. So we would only see that other ending if we weren't Hank's friend. Because we're friend of the path is unlocked, the path to not us being shot, probably. But if we, like, hadn't saved his life and if we were on bad terms with him, he probably would have pulled the trigger, man. Thrown me into the river. I get it. They should totally, like, tell me that. Yeah, we remained logical, and Hank is still placated, which means we did every single one of these four things. And Hank is placated. Placated. This, none of this matters. None of it matters. Except our, what our actual relationship with Hank is. And so you leave me alone. And there you have it.
Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, it's kind of a waste of time, I guess. Pretty much all of that. Like, the last 20 minutes were not necessary at all. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and whatnot, and I'll see you guys next time.